out of 148,000 Home Assistant users, there are roughly 30,000 users that were missing at least on one functionality until the latest release of Home Assistant, and that is 2022.4. Today we will be looking at the specific change that can be seen only by the Docker or container users of Home Assistant. Yes, in today's video we will be talking about Home Assistant Core or Docker Backup. We'll start in a couple of seconds. If you are using Home Assistant OS, supervised, or anything that bundles the whole Home Assistant ecosystem into one installation, for example, virtual machine, then this video is definitely not for you but you also do not know the pain the Docker or container users were having with the backup of Home Assistant. If you are a supervised user, you would go to Configuration, Add-ons Backups, go to Backups, click on Create Backup, and that's it. But since this functionality is tied in or was tied into Supervisor and Container or Docker version of Home Assistant do not have and cannot run Supervisor, this functionality was missing, but with the release of Home Assistant 2022.4, this has changed. If you have Docker version, don't forget to upgrade it. After you upgrade your Home Assistant Docker to version 2022.4, between Blueprints and Dashboard, now you will see option to do backup. And yes, this is the same place where the supervised version or supervised version has the add-ons, backups and supervisor. Click on Backup, Create Backup, Create it, and that's it. Now you have the same functionality, actually not the same, but similar functionality as Home Assistant Supervise has. So what will this do? This will do everything that you probably have been doing by hand for some time. Maybe you have even created a script, Python script, or something similar. And what does this backup command do? Well, as you can see, it is creating a backup file in the folder config where the configuration files are, backups, and this is the name of the file. What is included in the file? Let's have a look. This is my Synology system, test system, where I run both a Docker version and a virtual machine. If we go to file station, we have subfolder Docker, and inside of that subfolder, we have a folder called Home Assistant. And this is the typical folder where you would create and have all your configuration files in. Let's open it up. And as with normal supervised version, you have a couple of hidden folders called Storage and Cloud. Then you have Blueprints, etc. These are all typical and standard folders. But now one folder is automatically created. Of course, after you press the first time Backup, it's called Backups. And in this backup folder, we now have this file. Let's see what's inside the file. I'll extract it here in the folder with the same name as the file name. And in that file, we have three files. One is the PAX header file. The next one is backup JSON, which we can take a look. It says that the file name is this one. Name is core 2022.4.4. Date is the date and time when the file was created. Type is partial because, yes, we cannot do complete since we do not have add-ons. Folders Home Assistant, version is this and it's compressed. And the third file is compressed contents of the Home Assistant folder, of course, excluding the backups folder. So, what can we do with this file? First of all, if we want to create backup, this is used for backup and restore. If, for example, you are starting up the Home Assistant for the first time or have created a new instance, you can import this backup file here, the tar file, and it will then import all the configuration and all the files and all the things that you have customized inside your Home Assistant. But that's not all. If you want to move from Home Assistant Core or Home Assistant Container to Home Assistant OS supervised or similar that uses all the functionality that Home Assistant has, you can use and import this file there. Yes, it will be partial restore because you do not have other functionalities inside your Docker container backup file, 
but still you would import all the necessary files for all of the existing integrations and all the things that you have already set up to work in your new setup. So this is compatible with both Docker slash container version of the backup, but also with the full-blown Home Assistant supervised or OS version. In my opinion, this is one of the biggest things that has happened to Home Assistant Docker or container in last couple of years, because everything else was either working for both Home Assistant OS or supervised and a Docker version, or unfortunately was only available and visible to supervised version. This is, as far as I know, the only functionality that has been added to Home Assistant in the last, I can't even remember when was the last time we had something like this, that only applies to container or Docker version. And this, I think, is very important because it also shows you that developers are not just looking and pushing towards the majority of the Home Assistant users, but they are also looking at other installation types that are, of course, supported. So, if you still haven't upgraded your Docker or container version of Home Assistant, do so quickly so you can create backups. Please note, I did try to find a service call for this backup service, but unfortunately it doesn't look that currently, as of this version or this subversion, there is a possibility to call some service and initiate backup from there. So still you would have to trigger it by hand, which is far from perfect. But as we've seen a lot of progress with each new release, I really do hope that we will see a service call that would allow us to trigger it from the automation and, for example, create backup every 1, 5, 10, 20, 30 days. And this is it for this very brief Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please give me a like. It not just means a lot to me, but it really helps a lot with YouTube algorithms. Of course, I also want to thank all those wonderful people who are supporting me and have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. And also thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates. And of course, the streams. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always leave comment down in a comment section below. Or even better, go to the Discord server and the link to Discord server is in the video description as I'm most of the time there. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.